Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the isDoneDLL error that an error occurred while unpacking, and it gives you that error code return an error minus one. Error archive data corrupted decompression fails. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the star menu. Type in sysdm.cpl. Best result should come back with exactly that. Go ahead and open that up. Select the Advanced tab. And then where it says Performance, Visual Effects, Processor Scheduling, Memory Usage, and Virtual Memory, go ahead and select Settings. Select the Advanced tab. And then select the Change button. So uncheck the box where it says Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. And select Custom Size. So for the initial size, you want to go set it to, I would say, 400. And this is in megabytes. For maximum size, you don't want to exceed how large your RAM is. So for maximum size, I would say type in 3000. Select the Set button. Once that's done, select OK. And before you do that, just if you ever needed to revert it back if it wasn't working how you intended it to, you could always just check mark where it says automatically manage paging file size for all drives, and you could just reset it back that way. So anyway, click on OK. You will need to go ahead and restart your computer for the change to take effect. Click on OK, and you're going to go ahead and restart your computer. Now you want to open up the start menu, type in disk cleanup. Best result should come back with disk cleanup here. Go ahead and just open that up. Make sure temporary internet files is checkmarked as well as temporary files. So checkmark both of those and select OK. Select delete files. Okay, so once that's done, you want to go open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of the video. The first one I'm just going to go ahead and just type in here. It's an SFC scan, so just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now is all one word, attach that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient.
So it did find corrupt files, and we are going to run one more scan before we restart our computer here. So just copy it from the description of my video, and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt here, right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. This will take a couple minutes to run as well, so please be patient. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Simple as that. So hopefully I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.